Well, city and county workers are clearing out storm drains and creeks to prevent that flooding. There are things that we can all do around our homes to keep the water away. Our Christina Flores is live along Little Cottonwood Creek with some tips for us tonight. And Christina, some of these uh, prevention measures don't cost a lot of money either. Yeah, you can actually do a lot to protect your house for free right now. So whether you live right next to a creek like this one, this is Little Cottonwood Creek, or whether you live far away from running water, this is the year to protect your house just in case. Many communities in Utah have free sandbags. A little concerned I might get flooded. Jacob Bellew is preparing. He's worried about his apartment in Murray. Um, a basement level apartment next to a little pond. Another no-cost way to protect your house from the water's path is to do your own inspection. Front yard, backyard, the sides, all of it. Clint Meekham is head of Salt Lake County Emergency Management. Make sure that the water is flowing away from your home rather than towards it. He says keep an eye out regularly. If water is already going toward your house or if it's pulling near it, grab a shovel. Get your shovel out and just dug a, dig a little channel away from your house so the water has a lower spot to run to and runs away from your house rather than towards it. If you feel your house is at risk, take another step. Do you have a sump pump in your house? Was that installed with your house? If it was, is it functioning properly? At Peterson Plumbing Supply. Have you had people coming in to buy pumps? Regularly, yes. Steve Hardison says if your house is in a flood prone area and you have a sump basin in your house, check your pump. We have the submersible pumps that have little float systems on them so that when the water rises, it kicks the pump on automatically. Smaller pumps can be placed in a window well. Steve recommends at least one third horsepower or more for about two to three hundred dollars. Make sure your pumping systems are in place and ready so when the floods do hit that your home doesn't get submerged in water. And one more thing that you can do and is highly recommended right now, you can still get a flood insurance policy. Remember, it's not part of your standard homeowner's insurance policy. It's totally separate, but if you purchase it, also remember there is a waiting period of about 15 to 30 days before it goes into effect. Christina Flores, KUTV 2 News. So as we prepare for potential flooding, we wanted to know what's the main thing you could do now to prepare. We sent out this poll question earlier today. You can scan the QR code on your screen if you'd like to weigh in. Right now, 51% of you say my house is going to be fine. You might want to double check after seeing Christina's story. For today. sure. <laughs>